Good morning. Welcome to day 976 of the Appalachian Trail. Just kidding, day 19. Anyhow, I'm breaking down camp. Everybody else is gone and I'm just taking my time. I'm sitting here drinking some water with some electrolytes and just making sure I feel really good. Um, it was a rough day, as you know, yesterday. <clears throat> I'm feeling much better today. I got some sleep last night, ate and drank as much as I could. And um, so, yeah, I had a restful night's sleep. So today's a short day. Um, only going up to the next gap. Des Tesnati, I believe what it is. Tesnati. It's only 1.7 miles. For me, you know, that takes about 19 years. Um, so I'm going to get on the trail here pretty soon. And Donna from Green Dragon Hostel is coming to pick me up. And I'm going to go experience her lovely hostel. It's a newer hostel and I'm hearing wonderful things. So I'm excited about that. But it's a great day. <clears throat> Last night was wonderful. Folks here, we sat around the campfire, had a beautiful sunset, and it was just an end, a beautiful end of a very hard day. So today is promising to be a, a very nice day. Um, a lot of folks are on the trail. So I'm going to go ahead and get that tent in the background all broke down, and I'm going to get out of here, y'all. And we're off. Headed up the trail, headed north. We're going <clears> to <throat> come up over Cow Rock Mountain today. That'll be the peak for the day. And the skies are nice and clear, so hopefully we'll get some really good views. It's a much different day today. I had a dream last night, y'all, that uh, I was starring in a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. We was hiking the Appalachian Trail, and we got to camp, and we're getting all set up, and I set up my, my Durston tent, my Dyneema tent, whatever, lightweight, and he pulls out his, and he's struggling with it. He says, hey, Peaks, mind helping me set up my tent? I said, you got experience? I said, yeah, sure to pull it out. He pulled out this tent, and really it was just a roll of saran wrap and um, some tent stakes and stuff. I said, Leo, I said, man, I think that's a little flimsy, don't you? And he said, no, I'm going ultralight, man. This is ultralight. It weighs four ounces. I said, all right, you do you. So I helped him set up his saran wrap tent, and middle of the night, I hear all this hollering and screaming. So I jump out of my tent, and there it is. Old Leo, he's being tossed around by this grizzly bear, just tossed. Grizzly bear right here on the Appalachian Trail. Right? Biggest bear I've ever seen in my life. He's being flipped around left and right, up and down. So I had to reach in there and grab my little neck knife here that y'all see right here. And I'd go save him. I saved him. Scared that bear off. He went running. Leo lived. And um, I'd just like to say I'd like to accept that, Oscar. On behalf of all of y'all fine folks, follow me on the Appalachian Trail who don't give a crap how much your tent weighs. These views are starting to really open up. Man, we're almost to the top of Cow Rock here. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This isn't even the summit yet. A little campsite up here, top of Cow Rock Mountain. It's not super flat, but you could probably find a nice space. But man, you can't beat those views. Can you imagine the sunset right here? I seen part of it yesterday where I was at at Bags Creek Gap. Stunning, but let's go down here and let's check out this view. This is what this trail is all about. Not about making them miles, it's about checking out these views. And this one here, pretty darn epic in my opinion. All those mountains. I've gone over quite a few of those. 
It's incredible, y'all. Absolutely incredible. I'm so happy in spite of the down days and in spite of my exhaustion and my slow pace. I am so happy to be here. This is a blessing to be here. I hope y'all are enjoying it with me. Okay. Officially on the summit of Cow Rock Mountain. Made it. Woohoo! Most of the views are back there, and then I think there's another one coming up. But this is the summit, y'all. And we're going to start heading down to Tiznati Gap. All right, coming down here is going to be fun. Got to watch every single foot placement. The trail goes down that way. From here, you can just see Brasstown Bald, the highest point in Georgia. I'm going to zoom in. See that mountain there? You can barely make out the tower on top. That's Georgia's high point. Jamie and I have been there. About a year and a half ago. Matter of fact, I met Smokey the Bear up there on that peak. Brass Town Ball, y'all. Bit of a scramble down these rocks just now. They're wet, so you gotta really watch your step. We're almost down. Alright, y'all. Tez Natty Gap. I made it. And grab my shuttle and head on to the Green Dragon Hostel. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Day 19, Appalachian Trail. I am here at the Green Dragon Hostel in Hiawassee, Georgia. Safe and sound, comfy as can be. This is the cutest little place, y'all. I cannot wait to report back on my stay. I'll give y'all a tour tomorrow. We're fixing to go out. For some food. So I buy Ingalls grocery store, pick up a couple resupply items, but Green Dragon Hostel. I've been looking forward to this one.